Good morning, sisters. Good morning. Oh God, I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe eleison. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again, we earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess in unending love through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, the high priest rose up and all who were with him, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, they arrested the apostles and put them in the common prison. But at night, an angel of the Lord opened the prison doors and brought them out and said, Go and stand in the temple and speak to the people all the words of this life. And when they heard this, they entered the temple at daybreak and taught. Now the high priest came and those who were with him <coughs> and called together the council and all the senate of Israel and sent to the prison to have them brought. But when the officers came, they did not find them in the prison, and they returned and reported. We found the prison securely locked and the sentries standing at the doors, but when we opened it, we found no one inside. Now when the captain of the temple and the chief priest heard these words, they were much perplexed about them wondering what this would come to. And someone came and told them, The men whom you put in prison are standing in the temple and teaching the people. Then the captain with the officers went and brought them, but without violence, for they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. 
the humble shall hear and be glad. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called, the Lord heard, and rescued him from all his distress. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. The lowly one called, and the Lord heard him. Alleluia. Alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should have eternal life. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God sent the Son into the world not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. He who believes in him is not condemned. He who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the judgment that the light has come into the world and people loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does what is true comes to the light that it may be clearly seen that his deeds have been wrought in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Catholics are not very good at quoting scripture, chapter and verse, but John 3.16 is a bit of an exception, and most Catholics have heard of it and remember John 3.16, because it is one of the great ways of expressing the mystery of the Incarnation, an inspired text. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. So it's something that we learn to say because we ponder the Scriptures and because also we have learned to read the Scriptures in the light of the Resurrection. If it hadn't been for the resurrection, we wouldn't have had the scriptures and we wouldn't have fully understood uh, the mystery of Jesus. So for us as Christians, everything is in the light of the resurrection. Everything is bathed 
in this essential element of our faith, sine qua non. And it's an extremely encouraging text because the love of God doesn't and cannot stop because God is love. And therefore we are called into love when we are called to holiness and called to God. And it is love that is able to go forward in faith. It is love that can trust. It is love that can endure even unto death. And Christians ever since have been trying to express this. We can't do better than this text, but we inevitably try to express it in our own way. St. Paul tried to express it by talking about a new creation at resurrection, that the resurrection is a new creation which changes everything. Pope Benedict XVI spoke of it as an evolutionary leap for the whole of humanity, that this is where we are headed, this is God's plan, and we begin to see it in the light of the resurrection, that what happened to Jesus will happen to us. But what is just as important, if not more important, than getting a fine phrase or a good image to express the resurrection is to answer the challenge of how do we live now in the light of the resurrection? And we live it surely through celebration of the sacraments of the Eucharist. We live it through the pattern of our lives dying and rising. We live it in faith communities. We live it together. And we live it also in our prayer, especially the prayer that is associated with our life of dedication, contemplative prayer, even without words, silent, without noise, imageless, without pictures, a presence in silence with God, with the love of God, in the love of God, and so ourselves in the love of God, so that we through that form of prayer, are released from clinging to ourselves, from self-righteousness and self-preoccupation, and gradually we become love itself. Jesus easters in us. He rises in us. And this is the destiny of each person, even though they're not aware of it. It's what makes people think about eternity, about life in the hereafter. And so we ask the Lord to deepen this sense of love and faith so that we may truly Allow Christ to rise in us. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. <coughs> he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many and for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <coughs> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Uh, through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth 
as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Um. The blood of Christ. Um. <coughs> the body of Christ. Amen. 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 The 
the body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And May Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him 
we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.